Uh, hello everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Pepang. Uh, I'm one of the translators uh, of Kendo GI International. And today uh, with me is uh, Sato Mariko, uh, one of the founders of uh, Kendo GI International. Uh, and this is the first episode of our new series uh, in which we interview various key figures um, in the international Kendo community. And by doing this, we hope to spark interest in the coming World Kendo Championships. Um, and we also hope to strengthen the bonds uh, between uh, World Kendo Championship competitors uh, by having these people share their stories. Um, today's guest, uh, our very first guest, is uh, Francis uh, Koichi uh, Nakabayashi. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. No, thank you. Yeah. Um, could you maybe uh, give yourself uh, a quick self-introduction? Yeah, sure. Hello, thank you. Uh, so my name is uh, Koichi Nakabayashi. Uh, I'm from France. Uh, I'm uh, 33 years old and uh, I'm right now six, six then. So I've been uh, multiple times a uh, European champion in team and uh, one time in uh, individual uh, in uh, 2019. And uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, then if everything is okay, uh, maybe we can start with the questions. Two questions, okay. Okay. Uh, um, so first, I think uh, a lot of people would like to know more about your Kendo journey. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about how you started Kendo and, and when you started? Yeah, sure. Um, I started Kendo uh, at the Lycée International, it's a high school international in uh, Saint-Germain-en-Laye, uh, near Paris. Uh, it's um, a high school where we study uh, Japanese and French. And uh, my sister and I were studying uh, at this place. And uh, luckily, uh, there were uh, kendo as, uh, at this place. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then uh, I just, uh, when I started kendo at this place, when you reach kind of level you can join after that in uh, Budo 11 in Paris uh, and everything is led by uh, Kibura Keiko Sensei which is uh, my uh, own teacher yeah. so uh, may I ask how old you were when you started Kendo yeah I, I started at uh, four years old four five years old just you know, I was not in uh, in high school, but I was watching my sister practicing kendo. So uh, I heard from my my mother that I asked to practice with her at this same uh, at same time. Oh, okay. So you've been doing kendo for a really long time. Yes. Yeah. For now, you... yes, twenty nine years practicing kendo. Yeah. Do you remember what it was like uh, doing kendo back then? What yeah. Was the just first, uh, um, practicing kendo like uh, very young like that was just to spend a lot of energy. You know, I, I really, I, I remember that our group of uh, children was very, was very, very big. So I remember that we enjoy a lot, you know, spending uh, a lot of energy to, to, to practice uh, kendo. And um, then uh, I remember that, you know, a kind of, uh, it was very funny to spend uh, time like that with them because, you know, you you can't, uh, you can't uh, practice kendo, you can't enjoy easy kendo because it's quite hard. And I remember that it's, we were in a group of friends and uh, we could practice very hard and even we went to Japan together and uh, and tried to, to be stronger. Uh, so like how many times a week were you practicing? Oh, 
in, in France, uh, first in high school, you don't uh, study afternoon, Wednesday afternoon. So many times I could um, uh, I could practice and you know the, during the the, the mid time, right there. Okay. And um, then when I moved to Budo Eleven uh, in uh, Paris. Uh, we practice at evening, like uh, 6 p.m. And I remember that my my mother every time uh, brought me to the practice in in uh, Paris, driving like few hours uh, in uh, in traffic jam. I, I I remember that it was a night a nightmare for her. So I really thankful. I'm really thankful for my mother that she she every time brought me uh, to practice every Wednesday uh, evening. Yeah, and then good. you are going back at evening very late at home and the next day was very hard but we or i mean uh, me and uh, my sister and i went uh, every wednesday only once per week to the practice yeah so do you kind of remember what kind of uh, practice you were doing what kind of training you were doing when you were uh, really young yeah, yeah, sure. In uh, high school, international high school, it was kind of, uh, we are playing kendo, so just with a very big group of uh, of children. But in uh, Budo Eleven, the level is much higher. So we start to practice around like 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., like very hard practice, but mostly Kihon. And between 8 PM and 815 uh 815 yeah during 15 minutes it 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 was kind of special special practice with the many oikomi like kakari yeko yeah the special practice for the the higher uh, uh students yeah. okay um so yeah you started kind of at quite a young age um do you remember when you kind of decided like okay i want to keep doing kendo i want to do kendo seriously yeah this is a very good question because yeah many times i was thinking to stop because i i didn't enjoy kendo kendo is very hard Ken, kendo is very hard to enjoy it when you are you are children um yeah so i think i really enjoy kendo when i could win uh, the shiai, you know, because when you lose, it's not fun. When the training is hard, it's not fun. So I can understand that uh, many children they they do not like uh, practice kendo and they they stop at uh, one moment. And uh, when you study, when you start to study or when you start to to work, I think it's very hard to uh, combine work, study, and kendo. When I start to uh, continue kendo and when I started to enjoy kendo, it's when uh, I joined, I think, the national French team uh, in uh, junior. So I joined uh, the junior team in 2007 with uh, the first European Championship for me in uh, Lisbon, 2007. And um, we it's very uh it started to be very fun because we spend most of the time with the same people you know same children and they they're going to be your 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 friends and uh, when you practice with your friend you enjoy uh, much more the the practice yeah something like that in france you have uh, every every season uh, many uh, gashuku for children and uh, it's kind of preparation of uh, European Championships. And this kind of uh, gashuku, like seminar, they select the, 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 the children for, for, the, for the European Championships. So you, uh, you mentioned that you um, joined the junior national team around 2007. Yeah, my first uh, European Championships was in 2007 in Lisbon. My first, it was my first experience uh, in national team, and uh, 
and good that I won in individual at this moment. And, uh, at, and it was the first time uh, they had the team category, so okay. team of three. And uh, we won this category also. So we were very happy that, you know, we did a very nice result. Yeah. What, what was it like um, going to your first, like, big international tournament? Yes, uh, it was, for me, a very big event, just traveling in, in another country. I got the uh, support of many French uh, people, my parents, and... Uh, I th I think at this moment I feel something like I achieve a very nice uh, thing for my uh, you know for improving my uh, my junior kendo and challenging myself of course try to understand my level in a European level. So then uh, moving on, um, like when did you first join the uh, senior national team? Uh, then. Uh, I joined the senior national team just after that, like in uh, two thousand, uh, sorry, two thousand nine, as a sparring partner. Okay. Because I was pre I was a sparring partner for the national team for preparing the World Kendo Championships in. Uh, I do not remember, but uh, maybe Taipei or something like that, and uh, yeah, we practice. Uh, very hard for this uh, preparation. I remember one of the hardest uh, uh, gashuku in the, uh, in the French team. Uh, I was a sparring partner two years, and my first uh, European Championships one was in 2011 in Poland. Uh, this first European Championships was a, a nightmare for us was uh, in terms of uh, result. I don't know if you know this, uh, this what happened, but uh, it's the first time uh, the French team was not in the podium at all. So it kind of uh, shame for, for all, all, uh, all team because it's the historical uh, result that uh, we really, really felt uh, responsible for that. So now we are speaking like that, but we, you can't imagine that the French team can't can't be on the podium in European. So I know it's possible, and uh, this is I think the gap when you change uh, the, the the team members between the older and the youngest uh, uh, Kenshis. Yeah. Yeah. So I I assume yeah right as you said there was a, a switch right from the older members to the. Yeah. new generation of, uh, of of team members um well obviously you you weren't able to, to get uh to win any medals but how was how was what was your impression of the first uh time participating in the european championships uh to, in at the senior uh team i I didn't feel like I didn't feel like very nice. Uh, I mean, we were not really good prepared, so we just participating at this uh, European Championship and without feeling and without preparing something. Definitely, we were not ready. Like uh, emotionally, we were really weak. So I was not surprised of the result because we were too you know too young not well prepared emotionally physically everything so when i joined yeah when i participated in this uh, first european championships i i felt really like the level is crazy uh, crazy high how i can be strong like that and and this was my first feeling like I, I can see so many strong countries in Europe. How I can I, I can reach how I can reach this uh, this level? Yeah. So how how did you um, use that experience uh, in order to prepare for the next year? So for the next year was the WKC, my first uh, WKC in uh, Novara in two thousand twelve. 
and uh, they good that our national team uh, staff uh, did something totally new so we went to korea for practicing like three weeks and it's been very like very hard training so we knew that we had to do something like our team can't stay like that so how we can be stronger it's only one one answer it's just practice practice with, with the strongest now we can be strong in our country but no to be strong uh, and make result in uh, wkc is no uh, uh uh, it's for sure that you have to to practice with the Tongres in Korea or Japan or whatever. Yeah. And how how was your first world championship? How did you do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was very nice, very nice uh, experience. So I was very uh, excited to participate in this uh, tournament, and uh, first in uh, in. Uh, Team category, we we got the uh, place of quarterfinal. We went to the quarterfinal against the uh, Japanese. So so the level was very very hard. At this moment, I was the youngest, so I I, I was in uh, Sempo, and uh, my feeling was just okay. I will do my best to to help my team and. And even in front of us is Jap Japan. Okay, we can we can beat beat them, and we believe that we we really believe that. So, in one year after after this uh, our what we 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 did in uh, EKC, we just practiced very hard, and we just not practice very hard. We were very strong individually, but at this moment we we may. We made we made a very uh, a nice team, nice team, and uh, it's yeah everyone became a nice a nice uh, teammates, and we build a one team. It's very important, I think, in this kind of level, to not uh, go as individual fighters, but really as a very one group, one entity of uh, of team. Yeah, unfortunately, so in the individual, I I lost in the pool, but uh, against Brazil, he was very uh, an experienced uh, fighter. So I I did my best. So this is the most important, and I don't have any regret. But uh, yeah, it's very it was very a nice experience, and uh, just to meet the strongest uh, Kenshis like from Japan and uh, Korea. I felt like wow! I'm in, I'm, I'm right now in a, an amazing place. Yeah, I wanted to ask you that because, uh, of course, you know, living in France, uh, it's it's probably really easy to meet uh, players from other countries, from other European countries. I mean, uh, but when you go to the World Championships, suddenly you meet all these players from like America or like Asia. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, where, were you surprised by like how strong they were? Yeah, of, of course. I'm very impressed. I'm very surprised of the level. But you know, when you arrive in this tournament, you understand that we are in the same level, not same level, but same situation. The they have to win. They can lose. They have pressure. They have the same pressure than me. So when I'm like preparing for WKC, I believe that. They they do the same thing, or of course uh, even more. But the feeling or the the situation is is the same. Finally, we we will have the same uh, floor, the same dojo, the same people, the same uh, shimpan. It's everything same. So uh, the condition is the same for them and for us. So what is different is how to prepare to prepare at this event. How to prepare emotionally and uh, like the feeling, build the really the strongest feeling at this moment, and uh, of course uh, make a nice uh, preparation like uh, physical preparation is very important too. I think that's uh, well, that's a really interesting, yeah, a good way of looking at, at things. 
uh, I'd say. And yeah, looking at the numbers, you've been in the, the French team for like more than 10 years, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. I'm how how would you say you have like as as a player, like during those what is it, 12 years, how would you say you have changed as as a as a Kendoka, as a as a player? Mm. It's very hard to, to answer on this question because I I believe I would like to say that my kendo change uh compared to the beginning. Like I'm I'm more efficient, I'm I'm, my kendo is more uh, mature, but um, it's it's very hard to say because the kendo you can't you can't feel you can't feel uh, the change uh, you can't feel that you know you you improve something you can be happy that yeah I could put this kind of ipo you 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 beat this person or you lost against this person I I I. I can't say that you know from before or now what is the most efficient or what is the better way for the shiai. But what I can say, kendo is not only winning or losing. In my opinion, the kendo is a part of uh, your life. Uh, it's uh, your personality that you are showing to everyone. It's what it's my feeling. My feeling is, if you stay only to win for winning or losing, it's you can't move forward like why i'm here because i lost many times it's not because i won many times but i lost many times and this losing makes me i think uh, st stronger and today i would like to say that because and thanks to for losing that now i know what i have to improve and then if I stand just on my feeling like, okay, I lost. Okay, I do, uh, I won. Oh, okay, during the Keiko, I couldn't hit this point. If I stay in the failure, it's not possible. The most important, in my opinion, the most important feeling is to not give up and try to still uh, continue and learn from your mistake. I think it's uh, my opinion. And uh, just to back for the uh, uh, topic before um, the the French team didn't uh, win uh, for now or didn't got for now a medal in WKC it's no uh, it's never happened it's never happened so this is our goal but our goal okay for now it's very important but if we stay only that okay we need medal 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 we can't improve uh, our our kendo our team uh, spirit now, today, in my opinion, we enjoy a lot about the life in a, in a national team. We have to be stronger, much more uh, as a team, but not, of course, individually, we have to be stronger, stronger, stronger. But uh, first, we have to make stronger our team uh, spirit. And this is very hard because maybe one day you have a good uh, team spirit, but you can lose it. It's something you have to manage every time. It's the same like uh, the relationship with people. The relationship with people is, you know, you can be friend, you can be uh, very close to someone, and next day maybe something happened, some situation change, and you can uh, be more far with this kind of person. But to be not far, you have to uh, manage and uh, take care of this uh, relation. So I take the kendo as the same thing. If you stop to practice, if you stop to spend time with people, uh, I think you, you are going more far from something important that maybe now I don't I don't know. And uh, that's why I'm still traveling a lot in Korea, in Japan, uh, in the US. And it's very, I, I, I love kendo. So I love this uh, relationship with people. And uh, I, I, I have very big chance to travel and uh, met, met and practice with uh, so many people. So I really, I really enjoyed that. And I would like to say that from beginning of my uh, national team, um, national team uh, member, I, I'm, I'm more close on this uh, relationship. 
and uh, I understand more people. I understand the communication between uh, people during the fight. So I think this is, I think it's a good way to, to improve uh, my, uh, my kendo. That's certainly a beautiful words. Um, mm. <laughs> okay. I was wondering, um, because, you know, in those uh, past 10 years, of course, uh, you did manage to uh, win the European kind of championships. Uh, yes. Could you tell us a little bit about that you, that championship, um, how you're feeling and, and what it was like for you? Yeah, uh, as I mentioned just uh, before, just, okay, I at this moment, even I, I lost, okay, it's a kind of result at this moment, but if I stay in my mistake or my failure, I will not improve or go moving forward. I it's just one more question on my on my head in my head, and just this question I have to find an answer. This answer can be very fast. Like okay, I I lost at this moment. I was not ready. But why? The reason is why. Just I have to ask you a question. This why can be something small, but something can be very hard, very hard to, you know, for practicing a lot, a lot and uh, try to remove uh, and try to answer this question. But yeah, I remember most of the time, all my, 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 uh, uh, my lost, I, I, I would like to say when I lost uh, a fight, but I, I would like to say when during the normal Keiko, when I practice with Nanadan or Hachidan Sensei, and when I I couldn't do anything or I, I got so much pressure, this I remember mostly. When I just lost during the the tournament or something like that, yes, at this moment, it's very sad. But still, uh, the life in national team is very short compared to your life in Kendo. So when you think like uh, bigger, like uh, bigger, like uh, uh, the small life compared to very uh, full of uh, your life, uh, I think it's almost nothing. As you say, uh, uh, my life in, Ken in Kendo for now, it's in national team, it's 11 or 12 years. And and in fact, what I, I was starting at four four years old, so right now I'm more than 28 uh, years of practicing. So, you know, if I compare like that, it's almost nothing. So it's just half of my life in Kendo for now that I spend in national team. And in the future, when when I stop, I know that I have uh, something more to learn and to improve my Kendo. 